Hello and welcome to Zuckerman 3 TV. Uh, this is the uh, person here at Coca Cola Super Speedway. Had issues with the recording last time in Smos because the game wanted to just not be my friend. So hopefully that is not an issue anymore. It's on my window capture, not in our 2003. Yep, all right, so that way it should capture everything without any issues. If it does become an issue and it's not capturing everything and it starts glitching out, that's a problem because I don't really know how to fix it uh, in an immediate circumstance, so we'll go from there. Uh, anyways, that text very small, pretty good. Congratulations to Sam Austin get his first one of the season there. Uh, Zevil, Zevil, gonna be starting pull here today. Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Right next to him, uh, right through the third, he got four wins last year, and then starting third, someday in, actually highest running, uh, rookie, Euro, rookie driver right now, I believe. Uh, nope, that would be, I'll, is that Lyle Toledo? Yep, Lyle Toledo. He's not too far back from that, though, but regardless... Interesting to see. And then defending champ, 23rd in Legacy Gaming, starting right there as well. Uh, about to get this thing started. 26 laps. Another thing to note. Oh, there's Frank Shilton, another one of our rookies, but another thing to note. Um, no more Dill Flower restarts. I've decided to just eliminate it. Had too many issues with it throughout the season, so I'm just going to go ahead and X that. Uh, we will still have uh, lap cars going to the back. Uh, has Evelyn got any quick thoughts before we get this engine started here in about uh, 45 seconds? Or not 45, but 25. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, compared to last week when we went to Hillside, that was like the shorter version of this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Sean Ard uh, got a second one of the season at Hillside. Hopefully no more issues on the technical side. Let's get these engines started. Drivers, start your engines. Engines have been fired, as said before, 26 laps around Coca-Cola Super Speedway. We've seen some pretty nasty wrecks at this track. It's very dangerous. We've seen some not-so-nasty wrecks. We've, just, we've seen a lot of this track. Been racing here since day one of the NR side of this thing. It's really interesting to see how we get this thing going. Hopefully it don't wreck too quickly. I guess you can say Coca-Cola Speedway is known for wide racing in the big one. Definitely so. The big one here is actually a lot more atrocious than most tracks. I believe the speeds are a lot higher. I like this one. I think it's the test we up to maybe up past 200. As we wait for the flag man, and we are green at Coca Cola Super Speedway. Great start for the 55. Also, forgot to note, uh, if you do notice, the game does look a lot better. We saw some D, 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 whatever these files are, and I also uh, turned on a little bit of my shadows, lighting, solar flare, whatever. Hopefully, it don't crash the game. That would suck, and if it start becoming an issue, I'll turn them off, do it, go back to what we did before. Yeah, that goes. Also, the two part-time drivers in the field, Cactus King, and at least Sil or not Sil Salon, but uh, Jet 64 in the 94 Pocono winner. Or, uh, more specifically, uh, York Premier and Patty's 200, I believe it was. Here, 200 or... I think it was either 200 or 400. Yeah, my memory oh, dude. slips past. Up one is in the books. I uh, don't see any cars around. It should be game yellows, so if anything happens, the game will throw it. Good. If not, have our oh. chat button. So Thrasher leads the first lap, and here comes Mr. Raw Pace himself. That's Pulse. a Frank Shelton. Yep, pull center on the bottom, trying to get that run back. The top has got quite a few cars on it compared to the bottom, not so much right now. Could be for some interesting uh, racing here, if we can get a green flag run going. Frank's it's got a really, like... really nice run there, right there. It's kind of like carousel racing, but it's much longer. 
Yeah, two fifty. the runs. Two fifty, two, three, four. I think some guys stopping out two fifty five in the straights. So much faster speeds. And you gotta keep in mind this is a super duper speedway, so it's not all a thousand percent draft. There's a little bit of just, I guess, having a faster car that comes about being in this track too. And you know, you slow down in the corners as well so there's skill to this track it's not just oh super speedway all the way through and through so that's why you're seeing cars is it's not pack pack racing right now and granted we've seen it in races past here but business as usual other than that and you know how these races are it's mostly it's a company to draft and raw horsepower at this rate and Probably. a lot of arrow yeah, and it's going to be interesting to see, uh, especially Burn Thresher the third so far is appearing to be the dominant car. Granted, I know they were only four laps in. But, you know, single car team, Team Jesus Racing, came off a four-win season, obviously has what it takes, has gotten a, has a win to show for every season they've competed. So it'll be interesting ones to watch this someday and is going to be able to send it a little deeper there in that corner. Defending we'll Smos Champ. Uh, will not be able to defend that Smos championship because he's not running full time in Smos. Patrick Miller, who uh, dare I say has had the worst season so far, he has only gained 37 points, or not 37, 31 points throughout uh, however many races we've done. Has three DNFs, most anybody. Very, very poor start to Patrick Miller's rookie season in the 10 car. Teammate to uh, Cactus King, who's in this race particular. Uh, per the part-time schedule. You see the other Roach Racing car that's up here, uh, Kazo in the 61. Not going to be able to get around the 10, but Ted Speed. Don't count him out. And then Joy Paints, obviously, has been very consistent. Just hasn't had the results to show for it this season. I say very consistent. Has been decently consistent. Not near as guns blazing as last season, but they're out. They're there. They're there for sure. The new team as well, full position racing. Patrick Miller gets a lap lead. It's going to be helpful for him. Two points if you lead a lap. Ten points if you lead the most. He gets yeah, a little Taking on to the lead. Gotta say, so far so smooth. Yep, smooth so far. Tests were not as smooth, to be honest with you. We had a wreck on lap three in the tests, but that really matters. Doesn't really matter. Je Jessica is a sleeper driver, sleeper pick too. Tenth in standings right now. Only 66 back from the leader. A fairly good season. Got a top 10. Uh, we count them out. Dodge, the entirety of the top four right now. Almost top five, but Yoiko spoils the party. There seems to be the strong manufacturer at the moment. Yeah, Dodge at the moment reigns supreme. I would say both Cactus uh, Enterprise cars like to lead a lap, but Yoiko trying to make that difficult. Yoiko has had a very, very rocky career in the CCS. Won the Smos Championship in 2021, has done nothing since. They've actually held a really solid, strong beginning to this season in this year. They're currently fourth in standings, and they're only... Well, I mean, they're 40 back from the leader, but that's still not bad, considering third's 14 points back, fifth, second's 10 points back. That's a bird German Chic 81 battle from that points lead. When the full season standings, it'll be interesting to see if they can compete or not, but they're definitely better than past seasons for that 51 car, especially on this new team, Backstretch Garage Racing Team, so seems to be a good switch so far. I mean, Chevy's... Everyone rolls under the radar type of drivers at this rate. Yeah. Chevrolet is trying to join the party. Cazzo's just... Forming up the bottom. Yeah, Cazzo's trying to just bank some laps here, and they can definitely use them for sure. That 61 hasn't really shown a lot since 2022. Last year was kind of a sleeper year. Uh, they're not doing too bad in standings either. They're ninth in standings in a 61 car. Uh, yeah, but I think it's going to hurt them a little bit. Let's see, uh, who else just joined? The, uh, oh, got yeah, Reggie. He's back. Uh, looks like the hey, three car. Currently second. Speak, speak of the devil. Yeah, he's about to get back and try to get around this three the 61 car if not a weave or nh has anything to help it on the bottom nope looks like he's going to make the move essentially the pass daniel paul's jr peaks a little early there holy moly he already has a win this season i believe it uh was that rockingham was it I yeah it was rockingham 
No, that was, uh... That was Bird. Oh, no. Four wide in the front straight. This may not end well. It was, uh... It was, no, it is not. Oh, they made it work! They made it work! Somehow they did. The 17 backed out. The 61 backed out. Risely so. It was O Spice out. Someone didn't back out. Sorry, Reggie, what did you say? It was O Spice. Old Spice, yes, you are correct. Thank you for clarifying there. Uh, Old Spice was where Daniel Paul's one. Holy block! Crazy BGD. Does I'll fix some, but I'll be right back. Alright. Crazy Wait, BGD. Got the door shut almost by the 82. Go back and pull up our standings again. Huh? Cause this, the standing side is definitely something to take note of. Is I'm starting to see when drivers are able to take the lead, they can pull that lead for quite a bit until these drivers try to figure out that runs and where they want to put them and then organize a pass. And so far, it's been successful for quite a few, quite a few drivers, I will say. Yeah, thing pretty much. Jeff Jordan, despite a DNF last week, still in the top... Uh, Six in the standings. Unfortunately, he's only, he's about 45 points back from the leader in standings with that DNF. Came in the yeah, last week second at Hillside. Had a DNF due to restart violation. Did not serve a penalty. Unfortunately, it cost him really good. Or, or people are going to be in good position anyway. But Crazy BGD going for a position here. I don't believe he's got a win here in the CCS. I don't think. I keep, he might have gotten one somewhere. But at this point, I don't he's believe he has at least. Yeah, but he definitely not this season, but like period point blank, I don't think he does. He's currently 20th in the standings as well. Wick Rare Racing has had a really good showing as a team this season. I think. Ze oh, big crash! The 97's around! Oh, Zine. Zine. Zine's around. Let's go ahead and go and see who's going to be the leader. Uh. There's a paced car. I believe the leader, I think we've seen the 05. I believe uh, Crazy BGD is going to come out the leader. Well, let's take a look and see what happened there. Big crash off of turn four. I'm not sure how many cars were. Oh, yeah, that's a hefty, hefty, big pile up there that happened. Coming into turn I mean, three. DNF. Yeah. A lot of guys in the Speaking design. Of weed, there he is. Zion did not need this. Uh, he was 145 points back from the leader. Already has two DNFs this season. Uh, we'll, just, we'll go slow mo once we know what's going to happen. See, not a weeb. Uh, really sure what happened. Oh, the 82 is in the wall. Oh yeah, the 48 comes up. Yeah, that's what did it. Oh, and the 54 tried saving it. Got the wall. He hits the wall. 82 to was in it. Now we know 97 just stayed on the track. Now where is everybody else? Oh, oh, oh. There's everybody else. Let's see how this a gets started. Of, a ton of cars just got together, it looks like. Just caused a huge stack up. Basically, uh, well, behind Dripsy. The... I think, yeah, Dripsy got hit some somewhere. Let's see, what's TV2 got? Yeah, so it's another incident that happened. Oh, Dripsy get ahead of so. not a weeb. It was in front of Dripsy. As soon as Dripsy, as soon as Dripsy hit the wall, it was in front of Dripsy. Actually, hit seven instead of eight. Reset to practice. Or not reset, but brought us back to practice. Yep, this is four wide there. I wanna. Yeah, that was the first incident. Let's try going TV two here. Oh, yeah, the 10 the gets in the back. Hit by Miller. Yeah, the, it's going to be Patrick the ten, Miller. Yeah, the 10 it's of Patrick. Miller. Yeah, uh... Oh, yeah, they just all come up. Uh, yeah, they just change Oh, there's the big one. Behind that. Yeah, that is behind... Yeah. That is so many cars. Yeah, drummer chick on her roof. Yeah, these cars hit the hit the. It just, no one was expecting them to come up, and then oh, I, just, I can't even count. So, uh, drummer chick, eighty one on the road. Yeah, she went airborne. Uh, so many cars. We'll just go through the DNF list there in a second. 
Holy moly, your outside pole sitter. That was a nasty hit. So many cars involved in this at so many different points, it's so hard to tell. Bird, oh, you're up. The, both the, Dar the Dawn Patrol cars taking a big flip. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah just hitting the apron at that certain point was enough to just get it flipping. Jonah, Burridge, I think Ard was involved. Man. Yeah, Thrasher. Nasty Rick. So many people involved. It, yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow for a ton of guys. Auto Eve. Some damn Barney Thresher, Jonah, Bird, Jessica, Frank. I think that Jonah saved it, but he's also winning as well. Boy, go. Zevil, I think, avoided it. Lethal Mortar is involved. Six Slam. Uh, yeah, Vince Freeze might have got some damage there. Yeah, that took out a ton of cars. So, pace car on the track right now. I, I'm not going to pace miners or nothing yet, but um, what we're going to do. So, the lap times here are usually, let's see, about 42 seconds. So, I'm going to have it about a second a lap. If you're falling off a second a lap, I may even do, well, yeah, about a second a lap. If you're falling off that much, we're going to have to get you off the track. Actually, I'll give the benefit of the doubt. The speeds here are pretty quick. I'll do two seconds a lap. If you're two seconds a lap off, I'm going to have to get you off the track. Let's see. Oh, boy. That's half the field. All right. So, Dark X Rain, Jonah Burridge, Yoiko, Lethal Mourner, Nada Weeb, the 63 of Sumdan, Zevil. Drummer Chick 81, the points leader. Bird, who was also second in points. Um, and I believe Sean Hart, all involved in that wreck. Bird's still running, however. That's a big thing. And so is Sean Hart, but Drummer Chick 81 is not. So she's probably going to lose the points lead just in that, just with that in, in itself. 71, Bobby Isaac. 82, real gaming freak, unfortunately. We're going to read this time by. Part time driver. Uh, Jet 64, idiot of Jessica, who was running really well in the standings prior to this, Barney Thresher, who's had no luck this season. So and, drifting whoever's in the 97, it's currently still a lap down. Yeah, they're still a lap down. Uh, since they were in the wreck, they won't be getting the front, get the front it pass. It went all but... the way up to like 21st Zach, who was involved. Yeah, I think I, about half the field was involved, I can confidently say, but. Yeah, that was a nasty, nasty turn of events. Yeah, you know, a lot of these cars in the back. I thought that 50 car was toast. They, uh, swimming around, kept it going. Ard got some damage, too, but none of these guys I'm really seeing have any, like, race-ending damage. Like I said, the gap is a certain point. That 97 was what sparked this off. He, we seen he didn't get much more damage than what that wall hit was, and the drips he had to call a tow truck got stuck on the apron there. Um... And that cost them a lap, unfortunately. So hopefully they can get another yellow going and get that free pass. Because I think they still have some pace in that thing. And also, with just single fall starts, a lot more cleaner start. So hopefully they'll stay the same. B, uh, Crazy BGD, currently going to take the pull, take the lead here. Going for most laps led. Chat, we're going to go to 10 to go here this time by. Take a decent quick look at our chat, make sure there's no issues. 21, is he still in the race? It looks like he's having issues. He is still in the race. So, uh, Robert Crown Jr. 11th may be having an issue. We'll take a look at that once I go green. Uh, he's actually on the pit road with that issue, so. Uh, Don Patrol Racing not having a great day today, except for Jeff Jordan. <laughs> Only six cars on the lead lap, but two cars are a lap down. Bridget and Fogelman. that's going to go to the end. 
Yeah, Reggie Vogelman got his first career, first and only career win at this track last season. He has a very good chance to repeating that here today. if he can get that done. But Kurji BGD holds the lead in that 0-5. If he can get it, that's a two of the three Wick Rare cards of the win this season, if he can get it done. Grant, I don't think we're 10 races into the season yet. I don't even know exactly which race we're in, but I know we're past a certain point. Alright, the 50 may have to get removed from the race here. Give him another lap. If he is nice seven, if he's if he's right. seven, if he's seven point two seconds back around the next time loop, he's got done. Same for the sixty-seven. The sixty-seven, six point five back, he's done, or or more. Same seventeen, I think, still on pace enough. Cactus. Yeah, really the middle, a lap down with seven laps to go, though. What about Cactus King, part-time guy up here? Uh, you know, you see what happened in twenty twenty-two. Come back. May try to steal a win here as a part-time drive driver. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's gonna be it for the sixty-seven and the the fifty. Yeah, all, all these well I may excuse the seventeen because they were held up by but the uh, fifty and the sixty I excuse the 57 too. We'll give him another lap, but the 50. They just got internal damage. Yeah, 50 car is uh, pretty off pace. Got to be 250 down the straight. So he's only going 220. So that's 30 miles an hour off. Yeah, he's noticeably off pace. So unfortunately, we'll have to. Call the day for Bird. He didn't need it, but we have to. <laughs> Alright, back to the leaders. Um, Reggie Fogelman has assumed, or yeah, he's already in the lead. Uh, Treasure BGD has fallen outside of the top 10, I think. That assumption would be uh, correct. Yeah, he left the top That's Yeah. It's crazy how shuffling works. Yeah, that helped to dry. I think with the lap times here, I'm gonna, unless, yeah, I'm probably gonna excuse, yeah, that's true, we're still, uh, I may just excuse the 67 and the 17 at this point, but the 50 was losing a lot much more pace, a lot more quickly. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be affecting it with five laps to go anyway, yeah. it's, there's not enough, it's not enough laps. Yeah, we're losing 10, 10 seconds, 2 seconds a lap, but that won't be enough with this much lap racing left. Patrick Miller. They have something under his sleeve here. Three DNFs this season. Last in standings. Working with his teammate, or his teammate kind of worked with him a little bit there. And uh, you may take the leader in that 10 car. Big if he can draft be, push, but be big if he gets the win. That makes the pass. 162 points back from the leader at this point. Uh, had a, yeah, his season is toast right now. But, you know, up there up front leading better than being last because they've DNF several times. Lyle Toledo up here now with, in NASCAR Fireball 48 in the 9. When was the last time he won? I don't think he won last year. Cody Forge. Three wide for the lead. We've seen how well this went last time. I forgot to turn on the overtime, so if there's a wreck with a couple laps to go, just hope and pray I hit that button soon enough. Paulus Jr. Oh, they're conveyor belting at this point now. See how quick the, the I think the bottom line is now the preferred lane. Kaza, who's up here quite a bit ago, trying to take the lead now. Cactus King, he's gonna go low. Oh, 
Oh no! Four wide into turn three! Oh! They made it work. Messi sent it wide. The 08 keeps it going. Oh, huge aggression here. Two to go. Hopefully they don't wreck it two to go because I did not turn on uh, overtime when that uh, first caution came out. I did not tab out and do that. So and if they wreck on the last lap, well, that's all she wrote. Yeah. It is not. Hopefully they do not wreck here at two to go. That would stink. Hopefully they don't wreck on the last lap. We get a good green flag. Well, it's going to be green flag. They're going to be racing the end anyway, but... Man. Cactus Enterprises right now looking to get potentially a 1-2 finish with a part-time and the full-time entry coming to the white flag. Wow. Joy Paints trying to spoil the party. Lyle Toledo. Jeff Jordan's not out of this yet. Cactus Enterprises 1-2 on the white flag. They could both get a top five here. That'd be pretty interesting. Patrick Miller still holding the lead. Dead last in standings coming into this race. Can he come out of it with a win? Can Joy Paints get a win? She's been sleeping for a bit. Does she make the move? Does Lyle make the move? Does Geff have the speed? This is where it's going to happen. And I'll, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, let's see. Can they make something happen in the corner? Yep, two corners to go. Oh. Patrick gets arrow washed. Oh. Not enough. Peak, but it's not going to be enough. Joy Paints second. Lyle third. Patrick Miller. Dead last in standings. He's going to win here at Coca-Cola. Pat in the Cax Enterprise 1-2 spoiled, but both in the top 10. And that's actually impressive still nonetheless. Not that's a bad race. Team. Not a bad race at all. Hopefully the camera didn't glitch. That would really <laughs> sucked. Um, I think that was good to let those other cars finish. I don't think we could have let Bird finish. He would have probably been a factor <laughs> a couple laps to go. So, uh, yeah, that's that's that. Let's go on where top ten now. Uh, hopefully the broadcast picked up all that. Suck if it didn't. Oh boy, I don't think it did. Oh man. Ah uh, well. I'll just watch it and hope. And if not, then shoot. I'll send the replay again. I don't know. I don't know what to do at any other point, because you mean another recording glitch? Yeah, that would suck if that happened. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Hopefully, you know recording glitch. If so, and I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna make a thumbnail for it. But uh. To race to add to the standings, I'll have to fix it if it's still persistent. But based on my OBS, uh, I tabbed out and it was showing something uh, from I kid you not the start of the race. So, <laughs> boy, oh boy.